boxing truth here. David Hay is still ducking Shannon Briggs. Doesn't want any parts of that old man. Despite promising him a shot at him if he was to fight on his undercard, which Shannon Briggs did for practically nothing. Didn't even get paid, according to Shannon Briggs. And now David Hay is trying to say that it's Shannon Briggs that doesn't want the fight because he wants the fight to be on pay-per-view. And right now, no network is willing to put that fight on pay-per-view, according to David Hay. And that he wants millions of dollars for Shannon Briggs to take the fight against him. But I don't believe a fucking word David Hay is saying. I think Shannon Briggs is willing to fight for whatever's offered to him. He's been lowball before, and according to him, has was willing to accept these lowball offers. Like the one he got against Deontay Wilder when his people tried to lowball him and he accepted. But Deontay Wilder's team didn't want that work. They didn't want to risk being embarrassed by the, a middle-aged heavyweight that has, still has a lot of experience. So, I really don't see how Shannon Briggs would turn down the fight, according to David Hay. Since David Hay is still fighting on free, when, free television, a channel Dave... He's getting no television money for his fights, for his past two fights, but yet he still somehow gets seven-figure paydays because he old prices the tickets for his events, and he still gets decent crowds that come to watch him fight, despite the level of opposition that he's fighting. I mean, the last guy I, he fought, the, the guy from Switzerland, pretty much took a dive. He didn't even come to win. Came to lay down for David Hay. It's been a disgraceful comeback for David Hay. Not fighting quality opposition or even fringe type contenders, considering that he's been a unified cruiserweight champion, won a belt at heavyweight, has been considered world class for a number of years. Granted, he's coming off a layoff, but now he's looking to step up in competition, perhaps fight a worthy contender instead of the cannon fighter he's been feasting on his past couple of fights. But he truly ducked. Shannon Briggs didn't want that work. Doesn't want to risk being embarrassed by a crazy old man in Shannon Briggs. He could have offered him a couple hundred thousand to Shannon Briggs to fight on Dave. And I'm pretty sure Shannon Briggs would have took it. But now David Hayes is making up this excuse that he wants the fight to be built up to a pay-per-view. And wait to get a world title shot. Wait wait for David Hayes to get a, a, a world title around his waist. In order for a network to... Put some money behind the event featuring Shannon Briggs and David Hay and possibly put it on a pay-per-view platform. But just David Hay bullshitting. He's going to fight someone that's a more safer. But that's the thing. I have no idea who he's fighting in December 10th. And is he really actually going to compete? If the fight against Klitschko and Joshua goes down on that same date, is he actually going to try to compete with that event? Doesn't do good business for both parties, for both entities. So I'm pretty sure David Hay will eventually move off that date if the Klitschko-Joshua fight gets materialized. But David Hay is saying that the fans are going to be very happy for his next fight. It's not going to be Shed and Briggs, that's for sure. But he's saying the the his next opponent will be a name fighter in the heavyweight division. There's been rumors of Lucas Brown, perhaps Alexander Ustinov. I really feel David David Hayes, since he's ranked pretty high by the WBA, he's gonna fight either one of those guys in order to position himself as next in line for a world title shot with the WBA organization. Now David Hayes currently training. He looks pretty strong, Looks he still has the speed, but he needs to get in there with some more worthy contenders to see where he truly is at. Lucas Brown is a step in the right direction. Alexander Ustinev is also a step in the right direction, but most fans wanted to see him fight Shannon Briggs. Despite the circus Briggs is in boxing, despite his antics, the fight would have been very exciting. It would have did some business. Of course, David Hay would have lowballed him and kept all the revenue to himself. Since he somehow still makes pretty decent paydays, despite no television money being thrown his way. So everything's up in the air when it comes to David Hay. His next fight, the next opponent, he's still not sure if he's going to go on that date, December 10th, 
really depends on what happens with the Klitschko Joshua situation, as well as the broadcasting rights. Is he going to fight on Dave? What network is going to pick up this fight? I don't know how his relationship is with, with, with Sky. That's Eddie Hearn's network anyways. He will have to deal with Eddie Hearn. Box Nation. I mean, David Hayes' comeback has been... It's been, it's been a weird comeback. He doesn't get any television money. No networks are interested because of the opponents he's fighting. He overprices his events in order to get decent paydays for his fights. And right now, he needs to prove to the boxing public that he's truly serious about his comeback and fight a decent, worthy contender, at least a rated guy, among the sanctioning bodies within, the organi- within those organizations for him to get in- put into a position to fight for one of the belts, either the, most likely the WBA, since he's highly rated by them. But disappointing that he ducked Shannon Briggs, went went back on his word. I'm pretty sure Shannon would have took the fight for two hundred thousand, which is what David Hay would have would have offered him, since that fight would have been on free television over in the UK. But David Hay never truly wanted the fight. It was a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of talk. I don't know if he's truly scared of that old of that old man of a forty five year old guy who who's he can still fight, but you know, he still has to prove a little he he still has to prove something as well because of the opposition he's fighting. But Shannon Briggs is still a dangerous fight, especially the first two rounds. He comes at you with everything the first two rounds. And he's definitely, he's definitely still dangerous. Has a lot of experience. Has fought. He's fought in three different generations of heavyweights. And it's just a risky fight to take, especially for a guy who wants to get a cash out payday in his career. As David Hayes' goal is to eventually fight either Klitschko again or Joshua. As. Perhaps money is really the main motivation for David Hayes' comeback after a number of years of inactivity. But this will be David Hayes' third fight of the year, his most active year in quite some time. He hasn't fought three times in a year in, in, in a very long time. And we'll see who his next opponent is. Everything's up in the air, but very disappointing. That he totally avoided and ducked Shannon Briggs. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.